So I'm very excited to finally have a solar panel for the hood of my Jeep. This is the Lenson solar panel. And the way that it works is you get a backing, which is all sticks down, it's just a decal. And then you put um, strips on here, which I'll show you in a minute, and then adhere it to that. Now I did, they make them so that it can go a little bit larger, but I wanted it to just be the footprint of the solar panel because I think it looks really cool. Um, this one's for mainly the Rubicon because it has vents here. So it's a little bit smaller, but I like it because this is just gonna be trickle charging my battery um, at 45 watts, but I'm also gonna have a switch that will let power go back to my portable power pack that I carry in the back. You can get the solar panel by itself um, in all different versions too, a bunch of different vehicles. They do have one for this that would be much bigger and I think it's like 120 watt or 100 watt or whatever, but I sort of have that system for my trailer so I don't need it as much as I need it for the vehicle to just trickle charge. So this is the adapter that comes with it, the MPPT that connects to your battery and of course to your solar panel and it will trickle charge my battery. If you have a Jeep, uh, JL or even Gladiator, you know it has the main battery and then that little battery down here. Notorious for dying, that little battery. And that little battery does things like your um, automatic start stop, all that type of stuff. So this is gonna keep those nice and healthy and topped off. And then the cord will go down underneath here, but I'm also gonna have a switch where when I'm on a trip, I can turn this off and turn this to go inside the vehicle and power uh, all my power bank and keep that charged up um, during the day and then at night, take it into the tent. All right, I got all the adhesive on here. I put way more than I think I need for a small panel like this, but why not? Um, this does handle heat um, because the hood gets really hot and uh, a lot of people will put blue tape around here to line this up. I don't think I need to because I'm gonna line up perfectly with this decal. So now I just gotta start pulling all these off the a moment of truth here let's see how we do i have to say this is a small enough panel this isn't too bad to do to line up oh, that went really well so now i do have the hood all heated up because I just drove it home so that should help it adhere real well but they say 24 hours with weight on it so I'm gonna set that up but right now I'm just doing a little bit of Swedish massage on this baby all right I got her weighted down have a whole thing of water on the front because I really want that to stick <laughs> and hold the rotor and then some paint cans and a rock. I think that's gonna be just fine for getting it to it here. Pretty excited tomorrow to run the power cable, hook it all up. This is gonna be great. All right, so the panel is on, put pressure on there. She's not coming off at all. I really love the look. I'm gonna show you how I hooked it up for trickle charge down there, but I wanted to show you right now, it is pulling nine, Eight, depends on this sun right here. This is a 45 watt and it's pulling eight to 10 watts off, uh, for my EcoFlow there. Now, what you have to realize is that I am in Michigan at the end of October and I'm also at four o'clock at night. So you're never gonna pull a lot. But when I'm getting 10 right now, 10 or nine watts out of a 45 watt, I'm really happy with that, especially from the standpoint of a trickle charge. So the way I've got this set up, I got my MPPT set up right here to be plugged in. Right now, this is going out to the EcoFlow. I'm gonna put a connector up underneath that's gonna go to the back where I can charge off of that at any time. But most of the time, I'm gonna keep it hooked up to the trickle charge. All right, now we've got the trickle charge going and it's really hard to see in there because it's so bright, but I got my green light flashing, meaning it's charging, yellow mean it's all good, red would mean something bad, and that is not on. What I did was I ran the cables over there directly to my battery. Now, most people would put it over on that side. I put it over here because my hole in the firewall is like, my hole in the firewall is right there. So that's what I'm gonna run the ones for being able to charge off of my um, 
my portable battery, I'm gonna run that back there. But that's, that's how it's hooked up here. So that's the Lenson solar panel for the hood and install and everything, super simple. I put a link down below if you're interested in getting one yourself.